Hello, and we are in uh, part four of our series of videos uh, about how to make Alexa skills with Python. Hopefully you watched the other uh, three videos earlier. Um, once again, this is part four. We're going to be talking about how to handle intents, and you probably you should have seen how what intents are in the very first video. If you haven't, please go back and take a look. Um, we will add another if statement. So if you remember the previous video, we showed about how... Um, how the Lambda handler gets called first. And we were looking for this uh, launch request. And we talked about, you know, if we did have an intent, we would be looking for an intent request. And so we're doing that now. So we've added that extra if statement. We continue to check to see uh, what type of request has been received. Um, but now we're looking for the intent request. Um, an intent request is sent when, the, sent when the user invokes a skill with the invocation name with an intent. Hopefully I said that right. I don't think I did. Let me do that one more time. And an intent request is sent when a user invokes the skill with the invocation name with an intent. Okay, so our example is going to be Alexa, ask daily numerology, what is your favorite number? All right, so... Our intent is, what is your daily number? And our invocation name is daily numerology. Uh, remember when we made the favorite number intent in part two, I believe? We're gonna be using that now. So remember we said uh, favorite number, and we even gave an utterance. Well, that matches with this. And so what? So we're gonna, we, design, we built an intent, we made an utterance, and now we are gonna be writing the code that will be invoked when that utterance points to that intent. Okay, <laughs> so a user is going to say an utterance and then Alexa is gonna to try to figure out what that utterance points to as an intent. What did the user intend when they uttered that thing? And then it will run the code. Hopefully I'm not totally confused. Okay. Um, so intent, if we go back here, we will see when we receive an intent, we're going to be sending it actually to an intent router. Uh, why are we doing that? Well, because there are going to be multiple intents. Remember we added one in the previous function here, um, but you can, you can add a whole bunch. And as a matter of fact, most good Alexa skills have a whole bunch of intents. So what we need to do is we know in code, we've received an intent request, but now we need to figure out, well, what was that intent? Which one are they looking for? Okay. And so right now we've, we've written, we're going to write this function. It's called the intent router. It's going to look in the dictionaries again, and it's going to try to find out what intent we're looking for. All right. So you're going to see this a couple times here that I'm going to do. Hopefully it doesn't aggravate you too much. So I've got this very long dictionary within a dictionary, and I'm just going to I'm just going to send that to intent. I'm just going to assign that to the intent. Um, that way, um, these if statements are not just gigantic, right? So it's just to, it's just to make it more readable, all right? So we're, we've got this. This is going to be a string. So we know we've gotten an intent request. And now what we're going to do is assign this to this, all right? So this is going to hold a string. And then we're going to compare this intent variable and say, if that intent variable string is equal to favorite number intent, then we're going to call the favorite number intent function. Okay. So does that make sense? I hope it makes sense. I wish I could ask you questions. I wish I could get responses. You know, maybe I will do this video series a live thing, maybe get more practice. Um, and then you could just start yelling questions at me. So um, if you like that in the comments, say, hey, can you do a live thing? And I will totally do that. Maybe I'll just do that even to no one responds. <laughs> okay, so I'm assigning this huge, long dictionary within a dictionary to intent for readability. All right, why nested dictionaries get hard to read. And one of the things we like about Python is that it's readable. All right, the intent router, it's going to see that we received this favorite number intent, and then it's going to call the favorite number intent function. All right, this is this is a nice. This is what I was saying about you know it's good to make these short little um, 
tutorials and not do a whole bunch of complicated stuff. Look, this is all the paper number intent is going to do. 13. It's going to give the statement. Remember last time we talked about how the statement helper works um, from the template, from the code that we'll have linked in the notes. Um, so we're just going to make a statement that says, my favorite number is 13. So when you, when you go back, I wish I could just bookmark these things. I should figure out what number it is. Sorry. Hopefully this isn't making you horribly sick. Um, so when you say, Alexa, ask daily numerology, what is your favorite number? It's going to say my favorite number is 13. And it, with this statement, it's also going to make a little card. It's got a title of 13 and the body is going to be my favorite number 13. But yeah, so when we ask our skill what his favorite number is, it's going to say my favorite number is 13. Despite all that complicated stuff, that's that's all you've got to do. Yeah, so this video is actually over already. Yeah, that's all you've got to do. I know it seemed very complicated. It was probably very confusing, but maybe things are starting to mesh together. Hopefully. All right, thank you for watching. Good luck. Um, there's more videos to come. This video may have been a little bit shorter, but hopefully, hopefully things gelled. All right. Thank you for watching.